Hi Munchkins, my name's Hannah and I'm one of the Munchkins leaders at Munchkins North Rocks. Now, have you ever met a magician? Someone who performs tricks with a wand? Maybe they pulled a rabbit out of a hat or made something disappear or they might have even performed a trick with a deck of cards. Now, I've learnt a magic trick today to show you guys, Munchkins. Would you like to see it? Let me show you now. Under this cup, there's a lemon. And under this cup, there's no lemon. Now watch carefully. Oh my goodness. Ready? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa, isn't this a cool magic trick? Wow. Do you guys want to see how I'm doing it? I'll spoil the magic trick for you guys. Ready? So there's actually two lemons. But what I do is when I pick up one cup to trick you, <gasps> I'm secretly holding the lemon inside the cup. <gasps> Both lemons in the cup and no lemons in the cup. Wow. Wasn't that a clever trick? Were you a bit confused when the lemons were changing cups? Did it make a bit more sense when I explained to you and showed you that there was actually a lemon under each cup? How tricky are magic tricks? Well, the reason I showed you that trick, Munchkins, was because in today's story, we're going to meet a magician. And this magician loved to perform magic tricks just like that one. And these tricks made all the people he performed to think he was very, very powerful. But what we're going to see in this story is there's actually someone much, much more powerful than the magician. This story comes from the book of Acts in the Bible, chapters 8, verses 4 to 15. And it takes place in a town called Samaria. Let's have a read now. The first man we meet is Philip. We heard about Philip last week as he was one of the people the disciples chose to help spread the good news of Jesus to more people. Philip loved God and had the Holy Spirit within him. This allowed him to heal many people who couldn't walk or were very sick. The second man in our story is a man called Simon. Simon was a magician and his tricks amazed the people of Samaria. He told the people that he was a great and powerful man. The big crowds gave Simon their attention and said, this man is rightly called the great power of God. These big crowds followed Simon because they were amazed by his magic tricks. But when the crowds heard from Philip the good news of Jesus, they believed and were all baptised. Even Simon the magician believed and was baptised. He followed Philip everywhere and was amazed by the miracles that Philip could perform, as they were nothing like the magic he could do. When the disciples heard the people of Samaria had accepted the good news of Jesus, Peter and John came. When they arrived in Samaria, they prayed for the new believers that they would also receive the Holy Spirit. Wow, wasn't that cool to see that God is so much more powerful than that magician and that even the magician was able to see that and that more and more people are continuing to believe in God and become part of his family. Now, we're going to pray now, Munchkins. We're going to do a repeated prayer. So I'm going to say a few words 
And then if you'd like to, you can repeat after me in the small gap that I leave. If you don't want to, that's okay. Maybe you could just say amen at the end if you agree with what I say. So let's pray now. Dear God, thank you that you are so powerful. Thank you that the Holy Spirit was able to perform amazing miracles. Thank you that people like Philip and the other disciples were able to continue to grow your family here on earth. Amen. Thanks so much for watching this video. Now, if you'd like to do some more activities, ask your parents to head to the St. Paul's website where they can find a PDF with some craft activities and some maybe some songs you'd like to sing during the week. I hope you guys all have a great week and are staying safe. Bye.